What's up guys, Cat Ross here, East Sound Aquatics, and this is a quick review of the Cobalt's Cobalt Aquatics Premium Fish Food, but this is a more narrowed review. I did an overall review, but this is narrowed down to literally the best fish food mix-up for breeding fish. Tested by me, um, I tested lots of different foods and stuff, but I've had this food for over a year now about almost two years actually and I've been using it so much so out in the pond this summer the tub ponds I bred least killies and m mosquito fish so like Dalmatian mosquito fish so that's Heterandria formosa the least killies and uh, Melanistic Gambusia hobricki are the Dalmatians so anyway last year I did the same thing with just the mosquito fish and I had a problem so I just did I only did cobalt's breeder food so yeah, they were producing like crazy. I got a bunch by the end of the summer because what the breeder food does is it fattens them up and it promotes the breeding, allows for a bigger response, lots of stuff like that. It's just like they've tested all this and they pride themselves in their ability to match the food to your what you want to use it for. So the breeder food did a great job of that, but I had a problem. I wasn't getting the color that I wanted to, which is the one downside to the breeder formula. However, if you want that, pick yourself up the color formula, which has a lot of different things that encourage the pigmentation um, and allow those colors, color pigments and stuff to go in the fish. That just, it kind of encourages that, um, the way the food is built up. They do presentations on it. You'll have to look on their website and stuff and it, they'll explain why and they have YouTube videos as well. But this is just a review from my using. So what I do, as I dump them both together and I get a mix so I just call this the color breeder mix put it together shake it up and I'll feed while I talk about it so this is what I used all summer and I got a lot more color this summer I'm not just saying that like legitimately I got a lot more color last year all the males I brought in besides the mature ones and like three others, like the already matured, had no color at all. And this year, if you take a look, we got a lot of males in there. Even the little ones have like a little bit of black spots. See them? Even the little ones are having like little black spots on their tails and stuff. That was not there last year. They're coloring a lot earlier. And yeah, there's other factors that can go in. But the only main difference I did between the two years was the mix of the two things so now I got a ton I still got a ton of fry obviously because I'm doing the breeder formula and stuff but I'm also doing the color that color mix in there as well they absolutely love it so the big thing about cobalt food is what they call probiotics so in every container if you look here in every container this is your uh, color they got the red flakes like your normal and then the blue. This one has a lot of the blue. Here's another one. This is the breeder. It doesn't have as much of the blue, but there's in there. So each blue flake is like a probiotic. And uh, when I was talking to Les, the guy who's like uh, heads up the marketing and stuff, he gave me a really good analogy that I really like um, that I'll share with you guys. So imagine you're having dinner and you really want a steak dinner, right? Um, but you know you got to get some of that broccoli in there too, or asparagus. We're gonna... So you like you got those veggies, but they're just not as good as the steak. So what you do is you take a little bit of the veggies, you put them on the plate with the steak, you eat bit bites of the steak, but you also eat some veggies along with it. All together, you barely know the veggies are there. You get what you need, and you get what you like all in one. So that's exactly what they do here. So they got some asparagus and broccoli mixed in with the steak dinner all in one. Those blue flakes are your asparagus and stuff. So if I just throw a blue flake in there by itself, the fish will still eat it and they like it. It's very palatable. The only thing, it, but it's not, it's not as like palatable as the other stuff because this is like your good stuff. If you just served broccoli on a plate, you're not going to want it as much. I mean, they're still eating it, but not quite as much. See how they're just kind of like, eh, but you throw it all in there. 
and they've already been eating a while. But they're gonna start beating that stuff up. You see it? They got it all in there. The steak with mixed with the veggies. They don't know which is which until it's already in their stomach. So it's the, one of the best ways in my use to get them that probiotics that they that they need. So probiotics, they make, they kind of get rid of that. They have a probiotic bacteria in there that helps with digestion. So in that, that makes their poop and stuff uh, have less waste and less cloudy, less cl cloudiness for the water. So essentially, probiotics have little bacteria in them that break down the waste and stuff inside the fish and it allows for the water to be cleaner because there's less wa less waste in the long haul. So I don't have like any scientific research to back this up but they do on their website and stuff. And honestly it's just worked out really well for me. I don't know, I don't have all the variables and stuff in check but I have not had many fish die lately and all I feed is cobalt food and like all my tanks. I mean I have Northfin and other stuff too but like those are my pellets but as far as flake food only cobalt. I even use the cobalt pellets and I love them too but it does really well for me. Um, if you guys have any questions let me know just if there's one thing you take from this video Cobalt Aquatics gets your steak dinner in there mixed with your veggies all in one together it's great and when I say veggies these aren't this isn't like a veggie flake. I'm saying like it's the good for you stuff. It's the vitamins in there mixed with the steak dinner all in one. The fish can't tell the difference. And what I do is I mix the breeder and color together and it gives you a perfect setup for food for your live bear fish or any fish that you're breeding. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, have a great day and I will see you at the aquatic experience if you're going to be there this Saturday. I'm so hyped for that. Um, so yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.